Hello, dear friends. I welcome you once again and a big thank you for taking your time to check into my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you about a small but important component in which every researcher will or have engaged with during the process of writing their thesis, their dissertations, or a project report. And that component I'm referring to is in-text citations and it types and the reference lists. However, majority of the researchers do not give much attention to its importance and most importantly are not aware about the details that are present within it. To begin with, we all know that any researchers conducting research work either for a short term or for a longer duration, need to produce research report in the form of a thesis, a research dissertation, research article, or a research report. And that report will cover the following broad content. So during the process of writing, the researchers will consult and refer several similar work that has been done earlier. And the source of these relevant information or earlier work done can be available or obtained from journals, books, report, magazine, newspaper, etc. So during the course of writing, the current researcher will refer and incorporate other researchers' opinion, concept, theory, ideas, and findings into their own. For example, adopting and modification of methodology used in the study, sampling technique, sampling size, sampling protocol, etc., to name a few. So, when you refer and incorporate other research work into your work, in research, this is referred to as citation, okay? When you cite any earlier work and incorporate it into your own, ethically, it is essential that you acknowledge the sources or the researcher who carried out the work. And in doing so, you will give credits to them and appreciate them for their hard work and their contribution. And not only that, when you acknowledge or give credits to them, that it indicates that you are adopting a research ethics in your work, as well as protect your work against plagiarism. So now we know what is citation. Next, we will see what is an in-text citation and what are the different types of in-text citation. And to understand in-text citation, let us assume that this is your introduction chapter. And while drafting your introduction chapter, you have referred to different relevant work done earlier. So when you refer to this earlier work done, make sure you cite them by providing information about the cited source. So, when you cite these sources in the text of the report by using the last name of the author and the year of publication, then this is referred to as in-text citation. Okay? In-text citations are of two types. Number one, it is called narrative citation. What is a narrative citation? When the author's name is incorporated as part of the sentences or the narrative, and immediately it is followed by the year within parentheses. For example, have a look at this. See, immediately after the name of the author is the year of publication within parentheses, and the name of the author is incorporated as part of the sentences okay 
So now let's see the second part, the second type of in-text citation, and that is called the parenthetical citation. When the author's name and year of publication of the cited source is within parentheses and are separated by the comma and the, pos and the position of the cited work in the text are placed either at the end of the sentences okay, or in the middle of the sentences see and here you'll see that the author's name and the year of publication is separated by a comma okay so remember that one thing is that the the narrative citation and the parenthetical citation totally depends on the author's choice and also regarding the flow of the sentence okay so so in text citation can be written in different form depending on the number of authors present in the cited sources and this is actually where many researchers especially the beginners are likely to make mistake while writing the in text citation okay there are a few points to be remembered point number one is the name of the authors the first name and the second name of the authors are never used only the last name is used only authors last name and the year are incorporated in text citation and in case of two authors the word and will be separating the author's name okay and if you have more than three authors then you don't have to mention all their names in text citation but as you can use the word at all meaning and others okay you're going to use at all meaning and others okay then here in in-text citation comma will separate the authors and the year and semicolon will be used to separate the different authors okay so for example let's have a look here in case of one author and this will be a narrative citation and one author which is a parenthetical citation you see that comma is being used to separate the author's name and the year of publication and in case of two authors you'll use and okay and this will be in the case of narrative citation and for two authors again if you if in the case of parenthetical citation you comma will be used to separate the author's name and the author's last name and the year of publication and you have more than two authors you're going to use the word at all which is and others okay you have to use at all okay and narrative citation and in case of parenthetical citation which is at the end of the sentences you'll see that the author's last name at all and comma is used to separate with the year of publication okay so this is parenthetical citation in case of multiple sources are cited together as for example here a semicolon will be used to separate different authors all right sometimes same author have multiple publications and then in such cases the name of the author and the year of publication will be separated by a comma and if different publications of the same author are cited then a comma will be used to separate the different years okay and in some cases you see that the same author published several number of publication in the same year then you are going to use alphabets like a b c d and so on right sometimes you also happen that you have to use quotation from any sources and remember if you have to use a quotation then you're gonna just copy and paste it and if you quote anything from any other source if it's less than 40 words you are going to use a double quotation in between the text okay you're going to use double quotation in between the text but if the words are more than 40 words in that quotation you are not going to use double quotations but instead you're gonna 
give or provide a double spacing between the text. In case of narrative uh, citation of a quotation, then the author last name, the year within parenthesis and page number within parenthesis. And for parenthetical, parenthetical citation, the author last name is separated by comma. Comma will separate the year from the page of number and all this will be in parenthesis. We'll come to the last part and that is what is that reference list. Reference lists are the lists that contain the detailed information of all the sources cited in the research report. Or in other words, the list that contain the details of all the in-text citation. And these lists are always placed at the end of the report and are arranged either by surname, alphabet, or in order of their appearances in the in text citation and the list of these details is referred to as reference list okay so there are a few points to remember make sure that all the work that are cited in the text must be in the reference list and vice versa and cite only the source that you incorporate in your work not those which you did not and the name and the year of the work cited should match uh, between, uh, in, in the in-text citation and that of the in the reference list. Okay. We can say that you say citation will be complete only if it is properly cited in text and properly and the detail is given in the reference list. All right. This is the reference that I use for this presentation and Thank you so much for your attention and I hope this video will be of great help and informative especially to all the new or fresh researchers. To end with, if you find this video and my channel helpful, I humbly request you to kindly like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much once again and God bless.